Hello and welcome to GBiz 25's uh, online uh, introduction class. My name is Professor Nick Carbonaro. You can find me at nickcarbonaro.com, on Twitter at njcarbonaro, and then on YouTube at Professor Nick Car youtube.com forward slash Professor Nick Carbonaro. And we just started this live stream, so when we get more people in to the, uh, to the live stream, we'll, we'll begin talking about our class. And we'll introduce ourselves and doing stuff. I will not introduce ourselves, but I'll introduce you to introduce you to myself, and then we will go over the syllabus and then what's expected in the class. So pretty self-explanatory should be done fairly quickly. If you're coming in, you will see in the comments section that there's a bunch of comments already. If if you do see it on your end, that is because I just got done finishing my live stream for my other class. So don't worry about those. And again, my name is Professor Nick Carbonaro here at uh, Long Beach City College. And as people start trickling in, what you can do is you can go to lbcc.instructure.com. And let me put up the website. And once you do that, you will be able to see our class. And I put it in student view so you're able to see what's going on with that. So as you trickle in, start looking at your, start logging in to your website if you're in front of a computer. If you're watching this on your phone, great, just keep watching on your phone, but we will get started with it in about a minute and a half. We'll wait till some more people tr trickle in, but it's already 7.08. Uh, I don't want to take uh, too much of your time tonight, so we will uh, we'll go through this once we get a, a few more people uh, logged in. We got three people so far. Thought we'd have a little bit more, but that's okay. Give it 30 more seconds. All right, so let's get started, let's get started. For those that came in late, my name is Professor Nick Carbonaro. We'll be talking about our social media class. I can tell you the reason why we I came on late here just now was because last week I went to a conference in Pasadena, a, a, a company that does communication software wanted me to speak and talk about my college and, and my students and, and what we're teaching them in this class. Um, I talked to them on Thursday night. I went to another conference. It was alumni career night for my for my uh, high school back in the day. So they wanted me to come back and speak to my high school. And I spoke at a few different conferences last year as well. And I can tell you, you are in a class that is unlike any other. There are not many classes that, that teach social media and digital and social media. You may see social media marketing at other schools and we're developing those classes as well. However, I think that turns people away that aren't marketing majors or that don't know about social media as well. And so this class, we give you well-roundedness of social media. We give it to you so that when you go to an employer, you know social media. You know you don't just know how to work a Twitter account or a Facebook. That stuff's easy. But the, the actual techniques, the actual strategies, those things are the ones that 
that are that are that are key to us. And so, this class, and the reason why I'm telling you about the the employers, I just got off. I was just emailing uh, an, another employer that uh, that does a uh, communication software to to a client here in Long Beach, and they want interns to help create his client's social media pages. So. He has a bunch of different clients and each client and he wants a, a, a social presence for those clients. And so he comes to me after the conference and says, hey, listen, can we can we go have lunch? So tomorrow I'm actually having lunch with a with a with a VP of operations of a company talking about our students, you getting internships. And so take this class seriously, because if you take this class seriously, you could definitely get good job opportunities out of it. This is the only class of my of my classes that I teach uh, introduction to business, personal finance that that leads to job growth in the class. In fact, the the conference that I went to, I was only invited because one because the the administrative assistant for the VP of marketing for their firm or the vice president of the firm was in my class. She took the social media class the very first semester and in class she got her career at that at that job. Uh, she put her profile on LinkedIn, which we're going to be talking about in this class, and actually got a job out of it before the class even ended. And so, in today's economies, we're looking for skills. We're not the degree's great, but everybody's coming out with a degree. Um, we have an oversupply of degrees and an under under demand. We have an oversupply of degrees and a demand for skilled labor with an undersupply of skilled labor. Well, social media could be that skilled labor that that pushes you to the top of the. Of the job hiring process and so let's get started real quick there's only three of us online so I'm gonna go pretty quickly with this if that means everybody everybody knows that everybody wants everybody knows what's going on so um, over here on the left hand side of the screen we have our announcements page we have our modules which you could access you have your people to so people in this class and then your grade and so if you go down here Welcome to Digital Social Media. This course is all about learning how to use social media rather than the just knowing it. All my contact information is there. I highly suggest you uh, add me on YouTube. You don't need to follow me on Twitter if you don't want to, but add me on YouTube so that you know when any of these videos pop up because I do make random uh, YouTube videos depending on the content we create. If you want to go look right here, we're going to go to the modules. And before we before we go through all these modules, I want to get I want to go to the getting started page, which I already showed you. I already showed I already opened this up to you. So if you haven't seen this already, no worries. We're going to go over it again. Let's go over the syllabus real quick. And all you got to do is just click on all this stuff and it loads up for you. You have me, my email address, the fact that I, uh, my office hours, my office, and you'll see here YouTube virtual office hours, um, Monday at 2 p.m. So usually on Monday at 2 p.m. I try to do a virtual office hour depending on if there's students in my, in my office or not, but most likely you'll see me at 2 p.m. on Mondays. It's not specifically for this class, it's for the entire, all my classes this semester. You have a required textbook and a recommended textbook. So the difference is this, is that required, you're going to need this book to understand how to do social media. This class is an academic course. I teach you the techniques, the, the skill set involved with social media, but I'm not going to go and spend my time telling you how to set up a, a, a Twitter profile, how to pick a picture, what's a bio, all that stuff I have a textbook for. So um, everything you need to know about social media without having to call a kid, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, by Greta Van Sester and the ISBN's there. You could buy it on Amazon for 14 bucks. Bookstore selling it for 20 something. You buy it on Amazon for 14. You get the audio book for 20 as well if you want to do it while you're riding in between cars or bus or, or driving, whatever it is. And then we have a recommended textbook. The recommended textbook is Win Bigly, Persuasion in a World Where Facts Don't Matter by Scott Adams, the creator of Dilbert, the cartoon strip Dilbert. It says, this book is a great book on persuasion. Since social media content creation relies heavily on persuasion, this book is one of the best out there to help guide you through persuasion techniques. So these are all through uh, persuasion techniques and getting you prepared to do social media effectively, especially when we do content creation, GIFs, memes, viral, all that different type of stuff. 
Other content and learning materials will be distributed through a variety of media such as PDF articles, online web articles, social media posts, TED-Ed videos, etc. You can look at the learning outcomes, the special accommodations. We really shouldn't have a problem with the special accommodations since we uh, since we are an online class and everything's due at the very end of the week. You have plenty of time to do it. The reading is, is all dependent on you. There's no lectures or no online lecture component as well. So um, there, there, there should be any problem. If there is, if there are issues, please go through DSPS so I get that accommodation letter and we, we can work on that together. You're responsible for making yourself aware. Now, there shouldn't be any plagiarism in here since the fact that we're creating stuff on our own. We're, 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 doing, um, we're doing certain assignments that, that are your own individual thought. There should be no, you really can't cheat for any of that type of stuff. Um, it says introductions. Let me see about that introductions thing if we have it here. Yeah, what we're talking about is this introduction week. If I don't see anything from you participating in these two these two things, then I'm probably going to drop you from the course. So just make sure you, you're, you're participating. Late policies, there's no late, late assignment policies. We don't do late work in here. Um, everything builds upon each other. Social media changes, so we don't have any late policies as well because stuff that you do in week four may change by week 10, and, and I can't grade people based off of the same thing with that. Here's the grading system. We have quizzes, uh, 20 points each. Individual assignments, 25 points each. Group assignments, 50 points each. And group assignments, we may not do as many group assignments. We may have one, but it really just depends on the flow of the class. Uh, discussion boards, five points each. TED Eds, 10 point each. And then a final website linked to social accounts. That's an individual assignment, 100 points each. So. Uh, Grading is anything 89.5% and above, 79.5% to 89.4, so on and so forth, and we'll be good. Here's the tentative course schedule, and you'll see that on our course modules in just one second, but we go through the introduction, we go through the history and evolution, social responsibility, ethics and etiquette of social media, we go over personal, professional, and best business practices. Privacy and safety, we do hashtag theory, we how to go viral, we do branding and persuasion, content creation, GIFs, memes, videos, posts, we have LinkedIn and Quiz 2 there, Facebook, Twitter, and then Quiz 3, YouTube, Instagram, and Snapchat, analytics, personal broadcasting, and then your final projects due with a, with a Quiz 4 as well. And like I said, if you have any questions, please chat them in. Please chat them in as we go through this. But... Um, if we go back to our page, uh, I have your textbook reading here. It tells you what you need to read for this week. So everything you need to know about social media, chapter one, that's required. Um, let me show you up here our textbook. So your required textbook is this. It looks like this. Everything you need to know about social media without having to call a kid. The, um, the next is the recommended textbook. How to win bigly. Persuasion in a world where facts don't matter. Creating a TED-Ed account, super easy. We're going to be using TED-Ed in here. If you haven't done TED-Ed, um, it's a great thing. And I've created some of my own TED-Eds for this class where you actually physically, I, I got a video that, that was really good and I made up the questions and stuff. So that's why I said there's really no cheating when, when there's nothing out there that's, that's the same as this. And so create your TED-Ed account. It says register button. So make sure we do all that type of stuff because you will have, uh, account set, you will have assignments based off of TED-Ed. You can have a link to my website, so if you want to go to my website, you just click on that one. If you want to go to my YouTube page, you go to that one. The exact channel for my live stream, so what you're watching in right now, you can actually get there by clicking on that one. You can follow me on Twitter by doing that and then clicking follow. But like I said, you don't have to follow me on Twitter. I do I do recommend you require me uh, recommend you follow me on YouTube to make it easier for yourself to understand when these videos come out. And then textbook reading, that's the very first thing that we're doing in, in this week. So let's go back to the modules and I'll show you. So we went through that. So week one is introduction to social media. And I have expectations here. I say, okay, what are we doing? And I, I have a little video for you. So play that little video, watch it. You'll, you'll become more aware of it. 
the lectures on here are my own lectures. So I created YouTube videos. What is social media? Taxonomy of social media lectures. Seven myths of social media lectures. So I've created some of these lectures. I found some of these lectures. And then we have reading. And so you can see what we do each week is a watch, a read, and a do. Sometimes it's watch and listen. I may have a podcast that you listen to. But it's a watch, it's a read, and it's a doing. Right? It's a doing. So if you look here, uh, watch taxonomy of social media lecture and that'll take you to a link of where I did a lecture right and so a lecture on social media and what 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 it means to be taxonomy and everything like that so all that's in there read a couple articles each time you click on these it's gonna take you to the reading so read that and then after you watch stuff after you read stuff well now what do you do you do stuff right so the very first question that we have is what does social media mean to you and it says, after watching the taxonomy of social media lecture, list some social media platforms you have used and explain why you chose to join those specific platforms. Now think about your taxonomy level. What level are you currently at with those platforms? If you do not use social media, please list what you feel could be an important platform and why. So respond to at least respond to at least one other classmate's postings. Make sure you use professional language and standards. So again, the lectures right there you can watch the lecture I put the lecture in there you could definitely watch the lecture and then you answer the question right so we've already had two responses right we already had two people they've already watched the lecture they've already done it so very simple very easy all that type of stuff the second one says business interaction after watching the seven myths about social media lecture describe some of the ways that a business may choose to interact with other businesses or existing potential customers please make sure your Please make sure our response is scholarly and free of grammatical errors, right? I don't ask you to respond to somebody else. So that's the reason why this doesn't show up until you actually put a post. Once you put a post, you can see other people's responses in there. So there'll be some that you can respond to, some that you don't have to respond to. This one, you don't have to respond to. So um, make sure we look at that. And so for each week, it'll kind of follow that pattern and they will unlock at certain times and, and everything is due by the Sunday at 11.59. So by the end of the week, we consider the end of the week in this course, Sunday by 11.59 p.m. If you get it done by Sunday, 11.59 p.m., it's in the system. If we look through week two, we're gonna do evolution of social media, and you can see here, it gets progressively a little bit more work, right? I'm, I'm kind of warming you up into social media, and so um, I'm not sure if I am live. Jessica, you are live, I can, I can see you. And I could hear you. I could see that little thing that came in. So if you're watching this, you are watching it live right now. Yes, you are live. But week two, we have the evolution. And you can see we have a couple watching lectures. We have a couple reading and then some doing, right? This first part of the class will be a lot of theory, a lot of discussion, a lot of TED Eds, all that different type of stuff. You can see here, social responsibility, privacy, and ethics. Watch, read, do. Week four, we go to privacy and safety online. Now, mind you, some of the reason why these are some are locked because number one, I don't want you to get ahead. Number two, I'm still going to add some stuff. So some of these things I may change in and out. I may I may substitute one thing, find a better article because social media changes. I don't want to put something up there. You start ahead, and by the time we get there, it's changed. So for instance, one year when we were doing this, uh, Twitter got rid of Vine. Right? I don't know if you guys know, they stopped funding Vine and the Vine, they don't make Vines anymore. It's all um, Twitter consumed it. So I can't talk about Vine. If I talked about Vine in the beginning of the semester, it wouldn't have been relevant at the end of the semester. Instagram changes and updates their, their, their policies all the time. That's why we do the, the, the actual content creation stuff towards the later end because it's constantly changing, right? It's constantly changing. And so, um, you can see we go privacy and ethics, we go to hashtag theory, we go to how to go viral, and that's where you have recommended reading, right? Not the required reading that time, but recommended. You don't need that book to do it. However, sometimes if you wanna go viral, you have to persuade somebody to go better. So I'm not testing you on the knowledge in that book, but if you wanna become a better social media user, better social media advocate, I would recommend getting the recommended and required textbook, but you don't, um, you're not required to have the recommended book. You are required to have the required one. That's why it says required. Branding and persuasion. You can see that there's not an assignment there. There will be an assignment. I just haven't created it yet. I wanna see how we go. I wanna see what comes up in, in, in current events so that we could, 
we could talk about certain things. Content creation, this is where you are making stuff. You could watch the content creation lecture. You could watch how to make a GIF using Jiffy later on. That's also on my YouTube page. So a lot of these videos are on my YouTube page that I've made, some I've made public, some I haven't made public. But uh, the how to make a GIF using Jiffy, yeah, you could watch that. It, it's, it's got a few thousand hits already. Watch that, how to do that. How to make a meme, the ultimate GIF guide, and then you're actually gonna be creating a GIF. You're gonna be creating infographics. You're gonna be creating these types of um, media out there because that's how you push your content through social media. Then we get into LinkedIn and creating business things, and now you have your textbook reading again. How to create a LinkedIn page, watch LinkedIn profile tips of 2017. I know we just started 2018, but we haven't come out with 2018 tips yet. You're gonna create LinkedIn pages, you're gonna have your quizzes. Now mind you, the quizzes can, can definitely change. Those aren't locked into stone yet, so I still have to update them based off of new material, new knowledge and stuff. That's why everything's locked. We go to Facebook, we then go to Twitter, we then go to YouTube, we then go to Instagram and Snapchat. We talk about analytics, so Facebook analytics, YouTube analytics, Twitter analytics. We do an analytics, uh, we do an analytics uh, assignment, personal broadcasting and communicating. Again, we're gonna create something, but that's towards the end of the semester. But I've still gotta think about it. And then your final exam and final project, which we will unlock earlier in the semester. See, it says we'll unlock April 2nd because halfway through the semester, I wanna get you prepared for your final project, which is your own professionally branded website with your social media links attached to it. And the reason why we do this, and I'll, and I'll tell this to the camera, the reason why we do this is because you're now, it's a global world, right? You're now competing with, with companies not in your neighborhood. You're not competing with, with uh, employees within your neighborhood. You're competing with potential employees outside this country, right? Virtual teams. Well, the best way to start applying for positions outside of California, maybe, let's say cost of living in California is way too high and you want to move to Texas, um, Austin, Texas, right? Huge, huge tech center in, in Austin. Well, a lot of companies are moving to Texas. Let's say you want to move to Dallas, Fort Worth. How, how are they going to know who you are as an employee or as a potential candidate by just looking at a resume or a LinkedIn page? Maybe. But wouldn't it make you stand out more if you had your own professionally developed website? with your social links attached to it, where you're creating content and, and you're integrating your social media platforms into your profession. So let's say you're a hairstylist, let's say you're an artist, let's say you wanna get into politics, let's say you wanna become a business owner and run your own online business. Well, maybe your Twitter profile brings traction to newest updates in your industry or, or best tips or a how-to YouTube page or a how-to Instagram page as well. That's you. That's your professional brand. So that's what we're going to be doing. Um, that's what we're going to be doing uh, in this class. And so uh, before we before we sign off, before we do anything like that, any questions? Any questions on how this course will go? Any questions on how um, we want to do things? And I even put week one expectations on here. So it says, oh, I already I already clicked on that for you. So if if it, if it if there's if there's anything else out there please chat it in i know calvin calvin was a graduate of mine he was an alumni he got he's he's watching this for some reason i don't know why he's watching this but 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 calvin got an a in my last class he got a great grade he's, he's a great student and i just sent him an email today and said listen uh there are companies out there that want interns would you still like to be on the list if you're if you if you're already got a job and you don't want to be on the list anymore don't be on the list anymore but if you get a good grade in my class if you if you if you show initiative if you get an a in my class if you get a high b but you have content creation skills right i'm all about skill set if you learn the material you do the material you get an a you get placed on a um you get placed on an email list right i have employers that want students that understand social media right and I want to give them those employ. I want to give them those employees, whether it's for entry level jobs, internships, paid internships. If you succeed in this class, I promise you, I'm not promising you'll get hired, but I'm promising you'll get the opportunity to get hired. I'm promising the fact that that there may be somebody out there that wants to do it. You're going to need to take initiative yourself. However, we can help you with that. We can help you along with that um, if you decide to 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 really take this class seriously. So 
if, if, if this class is for you, stick with it. Take the first couple weeks, see how it goes. If you want to take my face-to-face -face version, you may want to wait until the, the, the next fall semester, fall 2018, because our classes during the daytime are pretty packed. Uh, but you're more than welcome to, to come and join if you want to see if you like that environment a little bit better. But um, before we move on, before we get out of here, any questions? We're at about 25 minutes for this live stream. Any questions on that before we get out of here? If you do have a question, please just chat it in. Give me about another 30 seconds. So I know some of you may be on your phone and you're, you're trying to chat it in. And if you have questions, email me, right? Shoot me an email. We'll get it done that way. All right, so if we don't have any questions with that, I will see you all online. Make sure to watch the lectures this week. Make sure to do the discussion boards this week and look for chapter one. Uh, look out for announcements. Always click on the announcements tab over here. That's where I'll send announcements to. And if you haven't been getting the announcements, it's because you're emailed. You're not, you're not checking your, the email that you signed up for the school with, right? So some of us may have a personal one and then an, uh, a junk email that they sign up for stuff with. Well, if you signed up for Long Beach City College with that junk email, it's going to be getting sent to that junk email. So you may need to retrieve that email address that you signed up with this with this course with. But other than that, thank you. Yep, very self-explanatory. Thank you, Karina. And um, if you if you have any other questions, please email me, tweet me, go on the YouTube channel, do whatever you need to do to get a hold of me. So with that, have a great night, and I will see you online.